Hey everyone, this is Doc. Um, I want to give a quick kind of run through of the Lonely Dungeon and show an example game. Um, the game comes with uh, rule book, tiles, and cards. The cards are sorts, hearts, and keys and things. The purpose of the game is to find the diamond card and to bring it back to uh, the stairs. You can use swords and, and different cards to fight your way across the tiles. These are the dungeon tiles. Um, some tiles are bonuses, depending on which direction you go. Other tiles are um, just pure rewards or villains. Um, so you are a dark wizard stuck in the bottom of the dungeon, on the fourth level of the dungeon. Um, start by shuffling the cards, and you start with two hearts, a sword, and a key. Um, and then you pick a direction, and you flip a tile down. Uh, in the top corner of the tile, uh, you'll see um, a, a symbol of some sort. Uh, that, that symbol is what you have to use to beat a creature. Um, if it's a sword, then you can use a sword. You can use a heart at any time as a wild card. So you can use two swords, a sword and a heart, or two hearts if you need to. If you ever get into combat that you can't resolve, uh, then you... Uh, then you lose the game. Um, so the purpose of the game is to keep crawling through uh, and beating adventurers uh, so that you can get the diamond. So here in the first level I just got the diamond, um, which means I take the tiles I used, I put them at the bottom of the tile stack, uh, I shuffle the diamond back into the cards, um, into, the, into the treasure pile. Now notice that I don't do anything with the discard pile. Once cards are discarded you're kind of gone. Um, or they're, they're gone. Uh, in this version of the game, um, there are times to actually get cards back from the, the, uh, the discard pile. Um, if you beat uh, a trap, there's a different symbol, sort of like a trash can treasure chest. This means that you can take one card uh, out of the discard pile uh, for every one of those symbols you see. Otherwise, you never shuffle the discard piles back into the deck. Uh, the bonuses always line up from whatever direction you're coming from and then there's going to be symbols on the arrow so if you choose one of those directions you get a bonus key or sword for that very next turn that's not additive though you don't get to uh, keep track of that and use it three turns later it's only good for your very next turn now here I just played a telescope which allows you to peek into the future it's a very powerful card you can rearrange any of the top three uh, the top three cards in the dungeon tiles and you can lay them out however you think is going to benefit you most. So if there's a bonus, you can line it up so that uh, you get your adventurer after the bonus or whatever you need. Um, this will save you from actually having to use cards, uh, which are a finite resource in the game. Um, here I, I also just beat a trap, so I grab that telescope out from the discard pile. Um, you'll see me do that a lot in this game if you watch it. Uh, I constantly redraw the, uh, the discard, or the, uh, the telescope. And there I, I lined up the cards to benefit me. I beat a trap, so I just took the telescope out again. Haven't played it yet. Uh, there I go, I play the telescope, so I peek at the next three cards. One's a bonus card, or two are bonus cards, one's an adventurer. So then you put them back on top, and now you can predict the future uh, shoes, uh, boots can be used to run away from conflict. What that means is uh, from whatever card you're running away from, you can go into any of the spaces adjacent to that card. Um, if you use the wizard hat, um, you, can, you can do kind of the same thing. You can run away, but you can appear uh, adjacent to any, any card that you've already previously played. Um, so if you use the boots, uh, you avoid conflict, you don't get any bonuses, uh, you just kind of play the card and you run away to one of the adjacent squares, top down, left or right. And if you use a wizard hat, it's the same thing, except you can go anywhere on the board that's adjacent to a tile that you've already been. Uh, now in this game you can never retrace your steps, you can never go backwards. It's sort of like a wall that you're building, you can never go across used tiles. Um, so, so keep that in mind, don't block off your entrance. I do have top left hand side there, you can see uh, the, the, uh, the magical clock. Um, that allows you to reflip any three cards. 
I, I think I recommend taking that out for now, but if you want to play it in, uh, what it means is it does allow you to go back across any, any card. So when you play it, you flip three cards that are face up, you flip them down, and you can travel across them, and when you do, you flip them back over again, and if it's a chest, you get the rewards. If it's an adventure, then you don't. And there we go. That looked like level four. So yeah, I just beat all four levels of the game. So each time you, you find the diamond, you bring it back to the stairs, you rotate the treasure chest. Oh, I just made it to level three there. You rotate the, the stairs um, to keep track of what number you're on. So first, second, third, fourth level. Um, so there, I just flipped it to four. And I went up, got a bonus, used uh, that bonus to unlock a trap, it looks like. Now I'm going through the discard pile, <laughs> once again taking out the telescope and then playing it right away because cards are a limited resource. And now I see that I have a treasure chest and two of the toughest adventurers coming up ahead. So I lined it up so I get the treasure chest. I know that there's only two cards left. Bam, one of them is a diamond. And I play it. Ah, so I don't have to fight those two guys. So good. That's it for this little walkthrough. I'll do a, a kind of a longer real-time game uh, walkthrough in the future. For now, you can follow uh, the Lone Dungeon. Uh, T-H-E-L-O-N-E-D-U-N-G-E-O-N -E 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 on Twitter uh, or follow on Facebook. Um, and uh, if I release any more betas, uh, I'll let those folks know through those channels first. Thanks.